Today I figured I would do a, sort of a little unboxing video and I'm working with uh, Cyclops Adventure Sports CyclopsAdventureSports.com and as you know if you uh, if you own a 450L the headlight is less than desirable out on the trails or anything like that the only thing that the actual headlight is very good at is uh, basically shining while you're around town um, with it being a projector beam you don't have any stray light anywhere else so what I did was is I contacted Cyclops I told them what I wanted and so what they set me up with I had them actually send me out two of the uh, Explorer 2 lights and they also sent me out a harness what I wanted to do is uh, they make a headlight uh, other companies do my thing was is that I didn't want to replace the entire headlight assembly because I like the way the headlight looks uh, I like the way that the headlight shines I just wanted more light they sent me out a two light setup they listened to what I wanted uh, I wanted to retain the factory headlight um, I also wanted to retain the factory function I didn't want to uh, splice into the harness or have to wire anything else in or anything like that um, so what they made me or did was uh, they sent me out this uh, dimmer um, and what this dimmer does is it will decrease the intensity of the light when it's on low beam and when I flip it to high beam these lights have 100% uh, power coming to them all that you know once I flip it on high um, and it's at full intensity and what they did is I actually had them had them basically send me a direct plug-and-play kit uh, this plug plugs into your accessory plug which is located behind the radiator shroud it's got a power and a ground 12 volt constant and then this right here goes to your high beam. Uh, these two wires right here are uh, Deutsch connectors and they plug directly into one another. They're already pre-wired and everything and um, once you plug those in you're basically ready to go. So you've got a three a three connector setup um, and this will add uh, 7,000 lumens to the front of your motorcycle um, if you'll give me just a minute we'll uh, we'll see if we can get them put on the bike so the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the two 10 millimeter hex seat bolts uh, dose two of them uh, you're going to want to remove those and remove your seat uh, that way you can uh, go up and start on your uh, radiator shroud. Depending on how your uh, gas tank situation is, if you have a factory gas tank, this right here just pops off a little clip. Uh, if you run the three gallon IMS tank, there's a, a eight millimeter hex bolt that bolts the uh, upper part of the radiator shroud on. Uh, then you've got an eight millimeter hex right here in the side from your uh, factory you know factory gas tank and IMS2 as well uh, you have a 8 millimeter hex right here as well as a 8 millimeter hex right there all right so the next thing to do um, is to remove your two 10 millimeter hex bolts from your headlight stay right here on each side um, to be able to lay the headlight over so you can get to all the wiring so after removing the 10 millimeter hex bolts, you want to be mindful. Um, there's two um, tabs that stick out of the bottom right here uh, with a little rubber grommet on your fin uh, front fender. And uh, anyway, that's what the headlight fairing actually pushes down into. Uh, just want to be careful when taking that out that you don't break any of those off. Um, it helps to have a small flat head or a, a bigger flat head than what this one is. Um, and basically you can go in there and just use a flathead to uh, to pop those up and to uh, get everything to come loose. I take a pair of long angled needle nose pliers 
And what I like to do is actually go in behind this clip, or what, what you can do, uh, is just go in behind that clip and pop that loose to give you uh, more room in behind your headlight. Basically, there's only really four connections that you have to make. Uh, your first connection will be to your uh, high, beam, high beam light wire. Then you have your left and right driving light wires. Um, you know, of course, it doesn't matter which one's left, which one's right. You plug them in after you're done. Um, the only other connection that you have runs back to your accessory plug, which is located on your frame. Uh, behind your radiator shroud next to the radiator fan plug uh, just to make it a little easier on on everyone who's trying to install a little cutout right here in the frame um, and that's where the wire sits and you really don't get any fraying or anything like that um, and the wire will sit right there once I went through there I actually came down and dropped it down through the bracket where the clutch cable goes. Uh, I came out from that bracket and put a, a small zip tie that they sent with the uh, kit and put it right here. And last but not least, uh, came down and I hooked to the, uh, or came, let it follow where the uh, radiator fan plug was uh, and dropped the wire in right there. Now. Right here is your radiator fan plug. This is actually going to be your uh, accessory plug. So the easiest way to remove it really is to put your finger in behind the plug right here. Um, make sure there's no pressure on that tab. Um, but the tab that you actually push on the back side is right there. Um, and you actually just push that down towards the plug. Uh, and then as you're, uh, as you're pushing that towards the plug, you'll just, you know, use your finger to pull it off the plug to get it out. And then all you do is just plug the connection in. Uh, so basically, I mean, there's no, uh, there's no modification of wiring or, or anything like that on your, you know, on your bike, other than just using the tap to tap into the high beam wire. To get to that wiring, once you remove the tab uh, from the headlight right here, once you remove that tab, you can slide this boot over top of this and uh, your headlight harness will be the three wire plug right there. And like I say, you're gonna wanna go to the white or light gray and that it will be with the, the white wire. And everything's color coded uh, from them, from, from the kit that they sent me, depending on your bike, um, it may be color coded a little different, uh, but most definitely it should be, most of it should be color coded to what wires go where whenever you get it. Basically, once you get it installed, you're going to mount your lights however you want to mount them. Uh, I actually mounted my lights uh, through the bolt on the handguard. I had to drill that out. Um, I just drilled through where the original screw hole was for my bark busters. The reason that I wanted to do that was whenever I am out and I am riding, it's protected by the handguard and it sits behind uh, sits behind everything and it's got plenty of you know ample protection or whatever for the light. So with all of my connections made, everything else, I just push the dimmer up in behind the uh, harness that runs up to the speedo, um, and all I'm going to do now is just zip tie uh, the two leads that are coming out of the dimmer. Um, I'm just going to zip tie those to that, that way it holds it in place and uh, button everything back up.